Everyone, I'm Morgan, and I'm a foreign student come from Malaysia. Maybe you are curious about why I come to Taiwan. Many people ask me about this. Um, when I was a student in senior high school, I never think that I will study overseas. But everything seemed to have properly arranged. After I graduated, my best friend asked me to apply for the Taiwan University together. And my teacher in senior high school also encouraged me to do so. So, as a result, I was admitted to NTU CSIE successfully, which is my first choice. But, although this gives me a great motivation, there is still a problem. I have no money. <laughs> but this problem was solved easily by a loan recommended by my teacher. So that's why I'm here today. I believe that most of the foreign students take some time to adapt to the new environment before coming to Taiwan. I think that I will not have any language problem to communicate with Taiwanese because I have spoken Chinese since I was a little boy. But one day, when I walk on the street, I heard someone say that you are so motorcycle. <laughs> Motorcycle, what does he mean? <laughs> I know that motorcycle is the most widespread vehicle in Taiwan, but how come it can be used as an adjective to describe a person? <laughs> I'm frustrated. I'm trying to figure it out. So after a long time observation, I come up with a conclusion. Motorcycle is a general term to describe a person that you didn't like. It's considered like a rubber, but it's not rubber. Oh, beside motorcycle, there's many other words that I didn't understand. But in opposite, there's also many uh, many words that I use in Malaysia. I cannot use in Taiwan. So, at the first few months I have been in Taiwan, I spoke slowly try to let others understand what I'm talking. Each word has to first process in my brain before I speak it out. This let me know that a language develops differently in different places. It is also very common that a foreign student will miss his own country, especially the food. One of my favorite food in Malaysia is Tom Yum. Maybe some of you may heard about it. It's a Thailand style hot and sour food. After two months, I left my hometown. I started to miss the taste. One day, when I went to a restaurant, I saw there's a hot and sour noodle. Oh, I feel very excited and I ordered it immediately. And then, I try to imagine the taste, the smell, and the appearance of the noodles. <laughs> Delicious, okay? But, all this wonderful imagination vanished when the noodle is put in front of me. <laughs> At first, I think that that is not mine, so I push it to my friends. <laughs> but, my friend told me that, Yes, this is yours. This is Taiwan style hot and sour noodles. Oh. When I heard that, I was so disappointed. <laughs> For three seconds. Because I am an optimistic person. And I am very willing to try new things. I think maybe I will like the taste too. And it's a good opportunity to try new things. So, I take up my chopstick. And prepare to give it a try. When I have the first bite, 
I know that I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> At that moment, I told myself, don't think too much next time. <laughs> this story told us that two things have, a, have the same name may not be the same things. Okay. Finally, there's uh, still many interesting stories I would like to share with you all, but the time <laughs> is not allowed me to stand here longer. So, see you next time. <laughs> so, spend time on my email. <laughs>